Welcome to our podcast. Uh, I think it's hard for medical students and trainees, uh, young trainees in medicine, to work out what career uh, they want to do. I'm an anaesthetist, so I thought it would be a really great idea to video some of my colleagues around the hospital and ask them some questions about being a consultant in anaesthesia. Why anaesthesia? Um, I think for me, anaesthesia was a way into looking after patients with critical illness. As a junior doctor, I'd always been really interested in patients with critical illness and often drawn to the bedside of people who are sick. And what you notice at the bedside is that sick patients draw lots of doctors and nurses in and around the bedside and there's a lot of beard scratching and wondering what's going on and what's the diagnosis. And anaesthetists always seem to be at the forefront of that. But the interesting thing to me was that anaesthetists not only were the people trying to engage in the diagnosis and the management, they seemed to be the people at the end of the bed who were doing things. I think if you're going to make patients better, um, getting the diagnosis right, getting the management plan is right, but there becomes an el there is an element there which means an active doing part, which needs to be front-loaded, active, and I think anaesthesia seemed very good at that, and I knew instantly at that point it was the profession for me. I did do an A&E job at the Whittington Hospital, and I did fine during that job. I liked to spend most of my time um, in the resus area, and um, so I like, very much like acute medicine. I've also got a very short attention span, so I chose a specialty where I could do something and see the effects straight away, and that's what I like about anaesthesia. We're always the coolest people, so <laughs> that was a big part of it for me. They just seemed to be happy and well balanced, and they told a lot of jokes. And then I think I realised that it's the closest approximation of that marriage of clinical science and and day-to-day -day healthcare. So if you're an anaesthetist, it's physiology and pharmacology on the end of your syringe, really in a way that it isn't with any other branch of medicine. You inject the drug and you see what happens, the heart rate goes up or goes down, the blood pressure changes, you know, it's very immediate and that's quite exciting. I started in anaesthesia because a registrar in anaesthetics, uh, who's obviously several years older than me, made a terrific impression on me and the day-to-day um, -day life of this junior doctor appealed to me enormously. I think the thing I like most about my job is talking to patients and guiding them through a really difficult period in their lives. Even though it's quite a short time, I might know them only just for one day, uh, or hopefully the next day a bit if I go and see them. Um, that is the greatest thrill, that they come in really worried and I'm able to reassure them, get their confidence. I enjoy the um, more exciting bits of a resuscitation and the trauma. I've always quite enjoyed quite acute emergencies. So it's nice to have the calm of theatre where everything is planned and you're really in control and then compare that to those quite exciting moments where there's real excitement with a blocked airway or somebody who's bleeding out or somebody who's arrested. I think it is the, um, the immediacy of it, in other words you can see the job in front of you, you can get it done straight away, you have a result, it's very acute, it's acute applied physiology and the patients are extremely grateful and you're facilitating surgery that couldn't take place without you. It's sociable, so uh, you work with a very large consultant group, the largest consultant group in a hospital, so the, um, the camaraderie between you and your colleagues is great and I think there is an esprit de corps that exists amongst anaesthetists that doesn't necessarily exist amongst other professions within the hospital. So I think the best thing about anaesthetics are your colleagues and that's certainly why I chose to stick with anaesthetics as a speciality. I like the mix of having um, lots of technical things to do so we, we, get to, we get to get our hands dirty, we get to do lots of kind of procedures which are satisfying. Um, we can be part of every specialty. Well, I think what I like least is when I feel that things haven't gone as well as you would have liked for the patient. Uh, so if you feel that somebody perhaps was in more pain than you would have liked, 
or worse, where you feel you've caused somebody harm. I think that's absolutely the worst part of the job. Fortunately, that doesn't happen very often. Um, other not so attractive parts of the job, um, I think sometimes as an anaesthetist you're not as in control of events as some of the other members of the team. I suppose all the sort of form filling in, form filling I'm not very good at, management in its loosest sense, I don't find that fulfilling, although I know other people do. Sometimes the lack of continuity, as in you see a patient um, beforehand, during and for a short period afterwards, you don't really have necessarily any ongoing relationship with the patient. Although I guess that's partly what I do, and some people who do pain clinics, for example, have that sort of relationship with them. Um, on a professional level, I suppose it is a frustration, and it would go along with uh, perhaps uh, radiology is closest parallel. One isn't necessarily one charge, in charge of one's own destiny, so uh, the operating list, one's the sort of service provider for that. Probably the on-call, it doesn't go away unless you're very lucky. So uh, Christmas, uh, New Year, other people are at home, you're probably going to be in doing something. I guess it's, it's difficult when, when there are complications. Um, sometimes it can be quite stressful when the patient, you know, if they wake up and they feel bad or if, they, um, if they're really ill when they wake up. Uh, s surgeons, uh, uh, well, yeah, surgeons are usually fine, actually. Sometimes they're a bit psychopathic, but not always. Yeah, not even usually. Keep an eye out about what, if, you know, not only the specialty that you're working in, but really try and have a look around you and see what all the other people are doing so that um, you, you know where, which area that you want to go into um, because probably at that point you're going to have to choose your core training um, area and then carry on your, through with your run-through training. Be enthusiastic to everything and um, enjoy your time as a student because it goes by far too quickly. Uh, and if you choose to do anaesthesia, try and do as much general other stuff, particularly medicine and acute medicine, before you settle into a career of anaesthesia. You'll find it incredibly helpful when you're looking after uh, sick patients for um, complex surgery because the surgeons on the whole don't know a huge amount of uh, internal medicine and you'll find that very useful. I think that it's the ideal combination of science, technology and clinical medicine. It's a marvellous opportunity to um, work within most areas of the hospital, whether it's in obstetrics, providing pain relief, or it's uh, at the bedside in the intensive care unit, anaesthesia training is relevant to most areas and it's acute and it's exciting. And don't be afraid to question why if you don't understand something because you're going to have to find it out eventually so you may as well ask at that point. Medicine is changing, um, it's a lot of the decision making process from doctors is being taken out of the doctor's hands um, but I still would say it's a very rewarding career. It can feel very challenging at times, especially when you see your colleagues progressing in other professions very quickly, earning more money, etc. Um, but you know, just remember that actually there is great kudos and there's great satisfaction that goes with doing the job. And you know, there's nothing better than when you've anaesthetised the patient and you get some thanks for it at the end, and it, you know, you realise that you really have impacted on people's lives. And, I think it can be very rewarding. It's, it's easy to forget about that when you're taking all the exams and you're doing the night shifts, etc. But I think that's the greatest thing about doing medicine. Engaging. Probably very rewarding. Fun. Rich. Dynamic. Rewarding. Amazing. Interacting. Exciting. It's fun. Thanks for watching our video. If you're still thinking about a career in anaesthesia, I'd encourage you to go to your local anaesthetic departments in your own hospitals, speak to the anaesthetist there and spend some time with them in and out of theatre. Whatever you decide in your career, make sure that you choose something that you really enjoy. Good luck.